solving percent problems using equations. Now, sometimes when you talk it out as a word problem, you can show how to set it up and solve it using an equation. So here is an example here. If you look here, we got write it out as the whole times the percent is equal to the part. And it's similar to the way proportions are set up, but it's a little bit different. Uh, but it is essentially the same thing. This percent, it has to be written as a fraction or as a decimal. I just prefer using decimals because I think it's simpler in this case. And I'm going to be using a calculator anyhow uh, most of the time. So here, finding the part, a couple of examples here. 18% of 90 is what number? So 90, that's the whole. So 90 times 18%, so that's just 0 0.18. is equal to the part. And so I'm going to go ahead and say that that's the part there. And you just want to make sure not to mix up when you say the part here with the percent. So just make sure that, that you, uh, you keep track of that. So here, 90 times 0 0.18. So this is going to be 720, and then uh, 900. So it's going to be 1620. Our decimal goes there. So that value is going to be, the value of the part is going to be 16.2. That makes sense because 16 point, over here we got, this is about 20%, which is about a fifth. This is about 100. So a fifth of 100 is 20, so that should be about 16.2. Now over here, finding the whole. This is a little bit harder, but you're trying to find the whole here. Um, and over here, we can just fill in the parts again. 500% is what is 5% of what number? So 500 is the part is equal to the whole times. 0.05. So now, all we have to do is we have to divide both sides by 0.05. Divide to get that W so it's isolated and all by itself. So 500 divided by 0.05. Pretty easy. Remember, though, you've got a decimal point over here. If you move this decimal point two spaces over, you've got to move this one two spaces over by adding a couple of places here. How many times does 5 go into 5? It goes in 1, and then you just have a bunch of zeros because you know, subtract out the 5 and you're left with just nothing. So 10,000 is what W is going to be. W is equal to 10,000. And that makes sense because half of half of this um, this ten thousand would be uh, would be five thousand, and then ten percent of five thousand is going to be five percent. Um, or yeah, so ten percent of five thousand uh, is going to be five hundred. So that makes perfect sense. Now over here, the last time I did this, I messed this up. So you really do need to be careful and pay attention to this. Uh, because over here, 25, you take, if you're trying to figure out the percent, you take a 25 question test and answered 25, 23 questions correctly. What percent of the questions did you answer correctly? Now remember, when I did this the last time, I put them in the wrong places. The whole goes over on this side, 25, times the percent is equal to 23. That's the part. And then all we do is we divide this into that. So you divide both sides by 25. And what do we have? 23 divided by 25. What's that going to be? That's going to end up being 23 by 25. I can use my calculator. And I know that is going to be, well, this is going to be 0 0.92. And then when I write that as a percent, it's going to be 92%. So. Good job on that test.